Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see about the edit menu in MS Word. So this is one of the menu as the name suggests it helps to edit the document in a neat manner. It includes important editing features such as undo, repeat, cut, copy, paste, select all, find, replace and more. So this is the edit menu diagram as it comes in the first page of the MS Word. So here after file we have the edit menu that we have undo typing, redo typing and then here you can see the cut and copy are disabled. It will be enabled only if you select some text in the, con in the content of the page. Office clipboard which contains the all the things copied in the keyboard and then we have the paste which helps to paste whichever is cut down or copied and then paste special have many options and then we have clear select all find replace go to and so on let us see one by one what is the purpose of every sub menu so here we have undo task that is the this option allows us to undo the last thing we did in our microsoft word document so this is a handy command especially if you delete something by mistake so we have done something wrong and we can just come out this using this undo statement and then next is the Next is the repeat statement. Repeat is the last is the last task. It repeats the last task. This repeats the last action which has performed now. And for example, clicking on the repeat typing will repeatedly insert the same piece of text into the document. Suppose if you want to type the same type of document again and again, maybe a paragraph or any a group of uh, letters or whatever it may be. So if you want to repeat the same thing you first do typing work and then use the repeat option which is the which will repeat the last done task so next is the cut command this command will cut the currently selected document element for example if you highlight the text with the some text it will be deleted once you click on cut okay so if you don't want that you can just cut it will put into the paste clipboard we can paste it somewhere Suppose if you want the same copy there, then also we have to make some other the copy in some other place, then we are using the copy option. Okay. So there is a difference between the cut and the copy. So cut removes the content from the particular place and move and it will help to paste in the some other part of the document. Whereas uh, copy keeps a uh, copy of the uh, the text or whatever it may be in the same place as and it also helps to move it in some other place. That is the purpose of cut and copy we are all familiar with this cut and copy and then office clipboard this command will display the current contents of the office clipboard allowing you to click on the stored elements to insert then directly into the current document so suppose when you are when there are the some document which is the current document suppose if you want to paste something over there you have to just click on the clipboard so clipboard contains many information whichever you need you have to select and click it it will be placed in the document in your ms word document you can also do this for elements such as images text and so on this will help to the copy from the clipboard which is the office clipboard so next is the next option is the paste option this will paste into the current document the last element to be stored in the office clipboard so here the clipboard consists of so many options we have done now so we have to the last element to be stored will be removed from the that will be repeated uh, will be pasted into the current document that is the it's, it's like a last in first out it means that there are elements pushed into the clipboard one by one the last is the one which is in the top that will be removed and it can be paste it to any part of the document next is the paste special this uh, paste special will give some extra options on how to paste the content onto the microsoft word so here suppose if you want to form paste only the format or only the text or something else so that can be done by the paste special option and then next is the paste as hyperlink this command allows us to link to a certain place in another Microsoft Word document, Excel worksheet and PowerPoint slide or access database. That means here we can have a document either in the current MS Word or some other MS Office Word, MS, MS Office document such as a Excel or a worksheet or a 
database access database okay to achieve this the first copy of the element that you want to link into the clipboard and then select it and paste it as a hyperlink so is a normal copy paste only you have to copy the, the things which you wanted to copy first i copy it and then we want to link into the clipboard so how to do select the paste as hyperlink option it will help you to paste in a different manner rather than the normal pasting then we have note here is that the target file must have been saved previously likewise if you are looking to a element in the current document it must be saved first so wherever you want to make a hyperlink the current document should be saved as well as, the, as also the document you are going to connect is also should be saved so that is the meaning of this line a target file must be saved previously likewise if you are linking to an element in a different current document also you have to save it first like it like a template save the template first next is the close option clear option this command allows you to remove any formatting from the currently selected highlighted element it also allows you to delete the selected element so here by this clear we can either remove the element of the document or we can make some changes that means we can make can clear the formatting suppose we have a group of uh, statements typed and is formatted like bold or italic and then underline and color and so on suppose if you want to clear all the format you just select the document select the part of the document where it is formatted and click clear so all the format will be erased and the normal default value will be given so next is the select all this i will select the, the entire ele element of the current document suppose if we want to to make the full alignment for the whole page or make to make to make bold the whole page so, so that means any command you wanted to put it as a whole to the whole document that we are using the select all option and then find find allows you to search the current document for a certain uh, word or phrase so using this find option we can use for a we can select for a either a word or a number or a string or whatever it may be or a, those so those things can be found by using the find option and suppose after finding if you want to replace those that are also done by the replace option replace allows you to replace a given text with the substitute of your choice okay so now next is the so then actually this find and replace together it's a very important uh, thing which is used in the ms word as well as also in the ms office uh, scenario so suppose if you want to uh, replace uh, something as a whole suppose if you, i have done a document for 2022 i wanted to change all the year to 2022 to 23 now just by clicking once we can replace all the content from find 22 and replace by 23 okay when you do the lab exercise you'll be able to easily follow this concept and then go to so go to will allow you to go to directly to a certain page selection line bookmark comment footnote end note field table graph equation object or heading so whatever the components of the document that we can name or number those the places where the document is stored we can that means we can give the numbers for the documents and then we can use that as a reference number to use the go to statement then next one is the links the this allow you to manage any link to objects in the current document a link to object is the information that is stored in another file for example a microsoft excel spreadsheet microsoft access database or any other compatible source so what does it mean is this allows to manage any linked objects in the current documentation okay that means here we can just link the, the we can link the objects from the current documentation to the other object in the next another file that means you can connect to the two different files using the link to object concept for example a microsoft excel spreadsheet microsoft access database or other compatible source and objects this command allow you to manage any embedded objects within the current document suppose we have some object which is put in the document we can use this objects command to manage any embedded objects that means you can manage anything you can resize the object you can 
remove the object we can scale down the object so whatever you want to do we can do with this object option so that's all these are all the sub menus available in the edit menu so with the help of this edit menu we can do all the cut copy paste work and we can make a very neat effective good document hope it is easy to follow and thanks for watching